Hello, this is Kedulitix and welcome to today's session. In today's brief video, we are going to look at post hoc test using the Stata platform. And as you rightly are aware, we do a post hoc estimation test where we realize that uh, F statistic for the ANOVA analysis is statistically significant. In this video, we are going to focus on just two of the post hoc tests, i.e. Bonferroni and Tukey test. So without wasting much time, we want to see how that can be done. So first of all, we want to establish whether our uh, ANOVA analysis satisfy the condition for us to run a post hoc test, i.e. being statistically significant, the F statistic. So we are going to see that around, <clears throat> so one way SBP, then the comes and then we tap. So from our statistical analysis results, we realize that our F statistic is statistically significant as the p-value is highly, highly less than 0 0.5. So it qualifies for us to run the Bussock test. So we are going to run the Bonferroni and then the Tukey test in this video. In the next video, watch how we can run the SIDAC and then the student Newman test or the SNK test. So to do that, to run the Bonferroni, we type one way and then the SBP, which is the dependent variable comes, then our category, categorical variable, which is marital status, comma, tab, and then we add bond. So we add bond to it, signifying the bond priority. So down here, it tells us <coughs> comparison of SVP by marital status into bracket bond parent. And here it gives us the uh, association between the two. And then the statistically significant values are given below it. Basically, this is how you can be able to do the, the bond ferroning test using data. Now, how about Tukey? So to run the Tukey test, we do a pairwise mean or PW mean. Then we type a dependent variable. Then comma. Notice how different this one is over the over the Bonferroni one. And then we type over, and the categorical outcome we are looking at comes. So we are looking at pairwise mean comparison for systolic blood pressure over marital status. Now we compare, M compare, M compare into brackets to key. And then we add effects to it. So this would, would give us the two key test. So within a few minutes, it also it has also generated the outcome for us. So here it does a pairwise comparison: married versus single, widow versus single, divorce versus single, widow versus married, divorce versus married, divorce versus widow. The co corresponding contrast, standard errors, the two key values, and then the confidence intervals. So basically, this is how you can be able to run the Tukey and Bonferroni test using the Stata platform. This first code will help you to be able to achieve the Bonferroni one-way SVP, which is the dependent variable, then followed by the categorical variable, then tab bond. Then to run the Tukey test, you do PW mean, the dependent variable over the categorical variable, M compare, then Tukey, and then effect. This is how we can be able to achieve it. If you find content such as this useful, we encourage you to like and share the video with all. Subscribe if you are new and turn on the post notification bell so you are always notified whenever a new video is released. Until we meet again on our next one, this is Kedulitics and it's a bye.